How's it going guys? So we have a past level question for pediatrics for step two. If you're studying for step one, this is very fucking important and this clip will be concise and valuable for you because these lab tests, lab tests, the fuck am I saying? These investigations, these diagnostic modalities are frequently confused on 2CK, cause students headaches. Uh, so you should know this stuff. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. And I'll start the clip. Five-month-old boy. Today, history of fever and foul-smelling urine. Urinalysis shows white blood cells, nitrates, leukocyte esterase. Just means we have a UTI. Antibiotic therapy is initiated. Renal ultrasound shows no abnormalities. Question wants to know the next best step of management. Okay, so let's just whip to the answer choices here. Choice A. Completion of antibiotic course and observation is the wrong answer. Uh, I've harped on that conservative management in, particularly, in particular, very important uh, on pediatrics for many questions. Okay, I've talked about that in the Telegram group. In this case, it's the wrong answer. And the reason is because if you have UTIs in a child under the age of one in particular, you don't have to worry about strict age cutoffs. Just if you have a young child with a UTI, it's often due to an anatomic abnormality of some kind. So we need to investigate that. Okay, so we're not just going to observe uh, following an antibiotic course. This would be for adults. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, repeal ultrasound, wrong answer. I mean, I just threw this in here to be a, have a trolling answer. Uh, we do the ultrasound once, we don't see anything, we move on. So choice C, retrograde cystiurethrogram, wrong answer. This is done for suspected bladder injury. Okay, so I talked about how these modalities can be confused on 2CK. Retrograde cystourethrogram is dye going retrograde through the urethral meatus back through the urethra into the bladder. And if there is a bladder injury, you're going to see that dye spill through the bladder. Okay, so uh, obviously, a lot we can chat about. They might mention blunt force uh, trauma to the abdomen, exquisite suprapubic tenderness, a catheter has been inserted, yields only 10 to 30 milliliters of dark fluid. Uh, they're talking about a, a bladder rupture slash injury. And then they say next best step in management, retrograde cystourethrography is the answer. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Show is D, retrograde urethrogram, wrong answer. This is for suspected urethral injury. Okay, there's two vignettes US simile is going to give you for urethral injury. The first is going to be the classic saddle injury. Okay, dude literally like falls uh, on a balance beam. Okay, saddle injury. A dude falls off his roof onto some sort of uh, mechanism where there's a saddle injury. Okay, the other, uh, the second vignette is going to be pelvic fracture slash instability. I've seen a question where uh, they'll mention like motorcycle accident, dude has an unstable pelvis, and he has blood at the urethral meatus. Okay, so pelvic fracture or saddle injury plus blood at the urethral meatus is uh, urethral injury until proven otherwise. Answer is retrograde urethrogram. Wrong answer in this case. Choice E, voiding cystourethrogram is the correct answer. So the diagnosis here is posterior urethral valves, which they do ask on step one material. They ask for the diagnosis straight up. But you need to know that posterior urethral valves, uh, they are the most common GU, genitourinary abnormality in neonatal males. So apparently uh, within the urethra, there are valves that prevent uh, urine backflow. And for whatever fucking reason, uh, they can be reversed, their orientation, in uh, some neonatal males. Okay, it's idiopathic, this condition. And so this can cause UTIs. There are varying severities. They might mention a neonate who has not urinated yet. Okay, or they may mention in this case, say five months old. Okay, so it's not as severe, but the child can get UTIs. So another high up point, okay, this is exceedingly important right now is that notice in this question, we did an ultrasound first. Then we did the voiding cystourethrogram, okay? And the reason I mention this is because voiding cystourethrogram may be six out of seven questions when you suspect posterior urethral valves is the answer, okay? So it becomes very buzzy, and I've written about this in my PDFs, voiding cystourethrogram is the answer. But a caveat, we want to be careful because 
I should articulate that we are going to do an ultrasound of the kidneys and bladder prior to doing the voiding cystourethrogram. Questions often mention the ultrasound was done already because they want to assess the voiding cystourethrogram, but I want you to take home that posterior throat valve is most common GU abnormality in, ne in neonatal males. You're going to do an ultrasound first, followed by a voiding cystourethrogram. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.